People versus Larry Johnson, we are seeking 12 independent thinkers who will reach a verdict based on the facts set in front of them and not as a result of their own bias. We will be asking selected members a series of questions to determine whether you will be able to weigh the evidence fairly. Please answer these questions truthfully and remember that you are under oath. Have I ever done it? Well, to be fair, I'm pretty addicted to my phone, so sometimes I text and drive. I mean, I don't know why the defendant was doing that. I mean, maybe he had a family emergency? I don't see why the guy didn't just comply. I mean, you're nice to the cop, you might get out of the ticket. You act angry and aggressive, you're gonna get arrested. Hey man, smarter people than me created those cameras, so I don't see why I shouldn't trust them. I have no reason to believe a camera was shut off on purpose or lie. Why would a machine lie? I don't know. I'm just not sure. I never really thought about it, I guess. I suppose I don't have an opinion on whether a black person would be more likely to be pulled over than a white person. If you look at the role of the police historically, you will see it has always been a dynamic of poor white people being hired to protect the properties of rich white people. Back in the day, the most valuable properties were people. So you tell me. I just want to say that I created an app that will automatically start recording as soon as it detects raised voices. I'm still securing the funding, but once it launches, I really should think it could have changed a case like this. Possibly even disrupt the entire justice system. So I think I've done my service to society and should be dismissed. I don't understand why we keep talking about the defendant's race. <laughs> I don't know, that's actually a really hard question. Um, I guess what I would say is, I used to think that if something was caught on camera, it was like objective evidence, but I don't know, I'm not really sure now because, like, you can just, like, frame things a certain way with the way you film them, and you can, like, cut out the camera and you can edit it, so I guess what I'm saying is, no, I don't trust machines, and no, I don't trust people. So I have this practice where I go out in nature on my bike, or I go for a hike, and I find a beautiful spot and I paint it right there from life, and this is actually really near here, the eucalyptus tree in Golden Gate Park. I was wondering, do you like this? Cool. Um, do you like this? Hey, so, um, do I you want to play with my life where I forget like this? like this? Do you like it? <laughs> do you like that I can do that? Oh my god, I've been volunteering like with these it? orphans and it is so no rewarding. We play games. Heather, do you like this? Cool, you know? Do you like the orphans? Yes. Do you like this? Do you like this? It's our red marathon and I got this picture I'm doing my makeup and they play it. Do you like it? Do you see what I do with the trigger? Do you like this? 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 I 
I shouldn't have to see people sleeping in tents or on the street. <laughs> That's so sad. Why don't you do that? That was the old way. The new way. Now we have calculators. Microwave. Now we have Google. Why should I learn math? Why should I cook? Why should I have questions? Today <laughs> is my day. Yesterday was yesterday. Today is already yesterday. <laughs> yesterday is tomorrow. I don't need to get older. I don't want to get worse. I'm perfect. I'm special. I'm better. I'm the best. Fuck all men. <laughs> <laughs> Like, shit. Oh. shit. 